with you night. Then Feel- you end up at your fucking trap house with the blue balls, nigga. She goes. <laughs> She for real. She out of there. She man. gone. Man. She gone. Man. Oh, that's nothing. Yo, here's yeah. nothing. Yo, if you guys live in a shitty neighborhood or some shit, we should have said this shit before. Yeah. Yo, you live in a shitty neighborhood. You live with your mama or some shit. Nigga, get a hotel or some shit like something. Bro, bro you or if you want to take it to the next level, get an Airbnb and say, oh, "This is my spot." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, guys, 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 guys. When I talk to you, bro, I'm kidding half of the time, okay? No, you're I'm just, not. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, bro. Look, look. <laughs> to be real, like, you don't want to do that. That's fucked up, right? But what you do want to do is not do it at your mom's house. Do it maybe in your car. That's yeah. better than doing it at your mom's house. Uh, you know? Yeah, or if you live in a shitty neighborhood, bro, like, unless you're a hood chick, <laughs> man... I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got roaches and shit? Oh, oh no. Shit. Bro, you know what? What I used to do, bro? What? I would time it. Whenever my mom is home, I'd be like, yo, listen, I'm working on this project. I'll let you know when I finish. Mm-hmm. My mom goes to church. Hey, bad. I'm free now. Come over right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to make it happen, bro. Whatever works. She's not home. It's my house now. Yeah. It's my house now. <laughs> yeah. It's my house now, nigga. Did you use church? Well, maybe not church, but something else yeah. Yeah, I, think, I believe it's church <laughs> yeah. Any, so, anything bro anything it could be anything but yeah yeah that's another thing so for y'all that like don't got your spot you live in a shitty ass neighborhood bro again you don't want to get judged so you might have to make some improv- uh, improvisation so whether it's a hotel or Airbnb ha- get that handled man yeah for real yeah <laughs> okay right. final point Oh, and always make sure the places that you pick are close to your spot guys L- logistics Le- you logistics half are half the close. game baby half the game All right? I mean Shoot, that should be a no-brainer, but... Yeah, but we got to make sure we say that. For that's true, that's true. All right, um, okay. Um, Chaps, I think this is the last one, yeah. Uh, okay, so we got JLB Fitness goes, I have a friend who jerks off on a daily basis. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how do you, how do you know? Wait, 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 pause, 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 my nigga. How do you know this? How do you know your friend jerks off every single day? Why do you know that? Why do you know that? That's kind of awkward. Okay, no, no. Go, go. Okay, he watches... Videos Corn. and master okay to ah. IG models like oh man wow uh, so those chicks aren't even bad so Summer Ray R- Ruby R- <laughs> Brooke Baron Ruby R- my nigga my nigga you could do way better than that man I don't know if you're trolling bro come on he says he was going he was going to uh, stop but keeps getting drawn back into any advice you guys give to him bro we have an episode on on that how to stop you know you know what's crazy watching that stuff if it's a disease if bro if you ever met somebody's women in, in person bro. They don't look the same, bro. Facts. So you're jerking off to a little AI bot because that's not her, bro. Facts. That's wild. These girls don't look like their pictures, guys. No, bro. They don't. They they really don't, man. Everything that glitter ain't gold. No, definitely not, bro. Shit. Ain't glittering shit. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, you niggas sitting there watching that video like, I've got you in my sights. <laughs> and the next thing you know, you meet her in person. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> man. She's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> she don't give you a chance, my nigga. Might be like a chance, bro. Yo, man. So. Y'all niggas watching the girl thinking she a 10, bro, but she a 4 in real life, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> That's filters, Photoshop, face masks, everything. Yeah, man. <laughs> She a, she a four in real life, but she thinks she's better than a four for four. Ah. Come on, man. Ah. All right. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, <laughs> Ray says, any chance y'all can raise the mic volume? It's pretty quiet. We did. Oh, okay, we did? All right. Uh, Your speakers are probably just trash, man. Facts. <laughs> yeah, this is like a, probably listen to some fucking uh, Zenith TV or some shit from the 1980s. Uh, Disposable Toilet says, any tips on setting up multiple dates? Uh, yeah. Fresh, you're a pro at this. You want to talk about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think he's talking about. I'm assuming yeah, multiple, multiple days to avoid flaking. Yeah, so right? stacking. Guys, it's called stacking. The key is, is that like when it comes to like dating, you have to understand it's a numbers game. So you might have a girl set up for a date. She may flake. She may say, "Listen, it's getting late. I got work in the morning. I can't come anymore." Or a friend said, "Let's go to this spot." She says, "I'm going. I'm going to go with my friend." Or a cat might have died. You know, a cat might have died right before you take it on a date. You know, it, it can happen. The point is that like, on some level, she may flake. So to avoid flaking, here's a counteraction you, you could take to actually uh, help this situation, which is basically set up multiple dates. Now, stagger it so it's like one hour behind, so you're not really messing up the actual time frame. And if the girl's cool, cancel the rest that were set up uh, afterwards and keep with that same date. However, let's say the date sucks, like she's terrible or she flaked. Well, then guess what? An hour later, another girl's coming because you planned three dates in one night. So my thing is, First, I, you should do this a lot. I would plan two to three dates a in day. one night. And if one failed, cool. Got it. Understandable. Hey, maybe she just flicked because her cat died. 
That, that's a joke. We know the real reason she flaked. Yeah. And and a to be honest with y'all, yeah. girls do this. Yeah. They, they, see, here's the thing. When women date, they they stack all the time. Yeah. The difference is, like, men don't flake on dates rarely, right? Yeah. So with girls, what they'll do is they'll, they'll have the options lined up, and they always go with the best option. Okay, this guy's offering me a yacht party. This guy's offering me uh, the club. This guy's offering me dinner over here. A mansion so, like, party. Yeah, a mansion party. So like, what know. girls do is they'll always go with the best option. So... They're literally doing the same thing, all right? So don't feel bad if you if you you know you you do this. Now now my thing is I don't. So me personally, I didn't like to stack because it was it was just too much work and a headache. So what I would do is I would just make sure I screen the hell out of the girl, so I make sure that it wasn't uh, gonna deal with flakes. But if you're working a lot of leads, etc., then yeah, you can absolutely stack. It's actually a smart way to go about it, so that like if a girl does flake, you got you don't got to deal with that because let's be honest here, guys. We know that the female flake rate in 2024 is huge, is, is astronomical. I, I would I would argue it is the number one reason. It is the it is the number one problem that men deal with in modern dating today is females flaking. Like that's number one. Like. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that's the biggest issue because girls have more options than ever before. Guys, like, let's keep it a thousand. It's Instagram, it's dating apps, it's social circle. It's if she lives in a major city, you already know she's gonna have a bunch of options, man. So um, that's just what it is. And and the uh, best way the best way to deal with it is either a, you screen and like you do a FaceTime call with her, build a connection so that um, you can mitigate the risk. But obviously, you can still flake. Um, so you can stack the dates like first was saying. Listen. You want to avoid getting mad at all costs. Because, listen, yeah. time is valuable. You don't want to waste time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all never see me mad on the show other than last show? Not really, right? Oh, nope. And whatever you do, <laughs> yo, guys, if she does flake on you, bro, please don't send a message cursing her out or anything yeah, like that. Don't, don't do that. Because here's the thing, bro. When she flakes on you, she's looking for any excuse to feel like she made the right decision. Yep. All right? Like, this, how, this, is, this is girl brain. Oh, I flaked on him. I know this is a really shitty thing to do. So let's see how he responds. And if you go and you swear her and you whatever, she's like, oh, he's a psycho. I knew I made the right decision. Yeah. It was it was in the stars. They'll say some stupid shit like that to rationalize their bad decision, their stupid decision or their fucked up decision. So you don't want to play into that <clears throat> and make her think she got the right decision. So you could just be like, you could do two things. You can either A, be like, all right, no problem. Or B, you know, you can do what I do. Just don't respond. Like, fuck you. Like, and just like block her or whatever the hell it is. So it's it's up to you how you want to deal with it. Or like if you if she flakes and it's legit. You could give it another shot too. It's it's up to you and like the Listen. girl. Like every situation is different. Sometimes it's valid. Sometimes it's not valid. Um, only you really know it. So the thing is though is that like whatever you do, don't curse her out and talk a bunch of crap because then what's what you, all you're doing is gonna make her realize like oh I made the right decision because she's looking for any excuse to rationalize her bad behavior. Yeah, it could be a shit test too. By the way, uh, I would say this: you want to be indifferent. Doesn't matter yeah. if you flicked or not. Cool. You know what? No problem. And I, what what I do is and, and here's one more thing too. Like, yo, guys, there's some fucked up girls out there that flake on you just to see how you respond. So That's they true. can put so they can put the response in their group chat with their girls. Like, yeah. yo, like you got like, bro, don't get mad at it. Yeah. Uh, but I would say if you're getting a lead list, like for example, you get leads in your funnel, don't burn the bridge. Just keep it there because you don't want to assume the sale. It may not happen this time, but hey, maybe next week, two weeks from now, her boyfriend broke up with her. She's single now. You never know what it could be. Yeah. So yep. keep it in your rotation. You, yeah. you, you never know. Yeah, patience can absolutely work. I mean, fresh, I've seen him like work a lead for like a year and close it later. You know what I mean? It happens. Like, it's yeah, I'm just, not that patient. It's just your turn. But uh yeah, but like yeah, it's true. Cause like, bro, we or, told you or, guys this before. Or, or bro, she might see your Instagram. She might see you doing having fun, going out with people, <clears> getting lit. Oh, you know what? All right, damn. I'll give it a chance now. I shouldn't have flicked on, on this guy. You know what? But she don't know. She's getting smashed. Anyhow, uh, but yeah, other than that, it's cool. Yeah. Just you know, don't get mad. Don't, don't, don't do what I do. Don't don't <laughs> don't do what I do. What I'll do is like she'll hit me up. Like who's this? Oh, it's X Y Z. I'm like, oh, you played games before? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a killer, bro. You're a killer. Yeah, 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 I don't care, bro. Oh, like you got, leads, though. you got leads. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. They'll hit me back, and I'll be like, "Fuck you." Like, yeah. uh, like, oh, you played games before? Whatever. I'll call her out on her bullshit. I'm like, options. Like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah. That's like, fine. but don't do that shit. Like, I'm, I'm telling y'all not to do that because that's <laughs> that that's counterproductive to the situation. <laughs> like me, I'm just like, man. Like, nah, man. Because I look at it like this: I'm giving back to to the community. Because oh like, she'll treat the next guy better. <laughs> Now uh, she's like, damn, okay. Hopefully. Like maybe I need to, maybe I need to like, like, uh, not be like this. Like, I, cause, bro, some girls think it's a game. Like they think it's funny. So it's like, no, man. Like, no, you fucked up your chance. Yeah. So, whatever, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. you get to choose for yourself what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, but I'm telling y'all, if you want to get the mo close the most leads, guys, don't do that. <laughs> That's me just being like, you know.
get some. Yeah, uh, trust me. Here, here I seen. Get some wrench for all the guys that she played. The on. damage, you know. <laughs> he understands. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> little Brazilian. A little Brazilian. Oh. How to navigate living with family. I'm the main provider of the house as a man. I could never sleep at night knowing they're struggling because I want the, me some cat? Some, some pussy. Oh. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, you need to, you, you, bro, you need to get Airbnb, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, you bring a chick back to your crib and you got a full family back there? What's wrong with you, man? Yo, that's wild. <laughs> Yo, you need to work on getting out your, all your family hosts, bro. Like, get out. Like, how, how do you say hello in, in uh, Portuguese? Uh, bom dia? Bom dia. Bom dia. <laughs> bon dia. But you go what, bring her in and your kids telling her bom dia and shit. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> you get some pussy? Forget about it's it. It's over. <laughs> Yo, I know married guys that have another apartment separate from the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, down far, yeah. further away. That's a rich nigga move. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you need some money for that. Yeah, though. yeah, you need some money for that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, could, you could do it in your car, but that's kind of kind of. Nah, I wouldn't do that, man. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's that's some amateur shit, man. You need you need to get out, bro. Yeah. All right, last one, guys. All right, this yeah. one is 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 very important, right? Yeah. So a lot of you guys struggle with like having, um, being able to hold a conversation with girls, etc. Let's keep it a thousand. Some of y'all are just some boring ass niggas, man. Yeah. Like just keep it a million. Like some of y'all are engineers, doctors, whatever it may be. You guys are just boring. Like it is what it is. I get it, right? It's, it's, it, it, what I've come to realize. Um, and I've done, I've noticed this from like being on consoles with guys. Yeah. The brighter and more intelligent you are, the harder it is for you to be social. I've just realized this with, with a lot of guys that are fucking brilliant, but they have social issues. So, if you're a guy and you like, you know, suffer from being social or holding conversations with women, etc., do a little bit of research. Look at her Instagram profile. See what she's interested in, right? Um, and try to steer those conversations towards things that she's interested in so you can like so that she can like talk with you back right because if you go in there and you start talking about you know pi is 3.14 and you know the root of xyz uh -huh. and you know oh yeah i'm a doctor and i you know uh, you know we're working on this medicine or some shit like that whatever she ain't gonna be able to contribute a lot of times guys and and i'll just be honest with y'all the, the hottest girls tend to be stupid all right i'm just saying it all right the hottest I'm girls you. tend to be stupid so Masagi. guess what you're going to go ahead and have to play at her IQ level a lot of the times. All right? So research some things. Have some conversation starters that are open-ended and uh, that she can contribute to. All right? Um, look at her Instagram profile. See what she's interested in. She's going to have some kind, at least one or two hobbies that you can talk about. Right? And just do, do your research so that you can actually hold a conversation, man. Guys, you've seen the show multiple times. Every night with girls on the show. What do they love to do on the show? What do girls love to do on a show all the time? Talk. So guess what? You go on a date with a girl, let her talk. Ask questions. Let her be the one to tell you about herself. I'll tell you this. First is good at this. I realize that like- What do, what do you say? A lot of, gir <laughs> a lot of girls have a innate, an, uh, innate ability to be self-conceited. And they <laughs> actually thrive on telling you about themselves because to them it's like, oh, I'm the shit. I'm a queen, I'm special. This is what I gotta say. So by default, I'm like, okay, now that I know this, let's use that to my advantage. All right, we're on a date. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. You know, she's she's nice. I can sit there and be entertaining, tell stories from days to come. But then I realize, yo, bro, I'm tired, bro. <laughs> it's not a long ass day. So let's hear you talk. So uh, I'm curious about your, about your life. Like, uh, what do you do for, for like, you know, for fun? Uh, how are you? Um, but you want to open any questions because you want her to talk as much as possible. <laughs> and then she tells you something. You're like, really? Tell me more. No way. That didn't happen, did it? No, stop it. No, stop playing with me. You gotta be kidding me. No, don't don't tell me that. Wait, what what'd you do? And you'd be surprised. Just doing add ons like that, like ad libs like that, nigga, it works it wonders because nigga, you gotta understand, bro. The less nigga, you, this nigga the Jim Jones of dates. The less you, <laughs> young Jeezy of dates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, number one problem is messing up by saying dumb stuff on a date. So you want to minimize talking as much as possible. That's true. Say less. That's true. Trust me. Say, say less dumb shit. and you get the bark. So listen, it's simple. Have her talk most of the date. Ask questions that are fun, exciting. And listen, the more you do this, guys, you're going to experience certain things you could do, like patterns. For example, I have patterns I do all the time. And it's simple. Uh, there's a video, actually, you could bring up on the screen. Gotcha. I did recently. Grilling. Guys, <laughs> I did the same thing with Cheyenne. I did with, with her. And listen, bro, she's an awesome girl. Shout out to her. But it's more like... I'm just observing and questioning 
her life, her lifestyle. And girls love to talk. So, I mean, it's just by, by nature. And I win because I look good because I'm a good listener. Mm. I'm paying attention. I'm regurgitating what she's saying. <laughs> really? <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't do that to you, did she? Babe, no way. And you'd be surprised because I'm telling you, <laughs> this goes so far. And to be frank... <laughs> Most girls are, are very boring, bro. Yeah, very boring. Right. <laughs> but when you add all these ellipses, it's like really you hide them up. Bored. Yeah, you hide them up. <laughs> no way, <laughs> guys. Expression goes a long way at tonality. You want to always leave an expression enthusiasm, <laughs> guys. I'm a boring ass nigga, bro. I I got a lot of that much charisma. You know, I'm very, I'm very still. But when I got you get get some pussy, nigga, like, I'm gonna go crazy. Really? No way! I can't believe this happened to you. Yo, if I was that, if I was that, if it was your boyfriend, that would never be me. So the point is that like, you wanna understand, guys? You wanna You're enable her to talk to you, but at the same time, listen actively so you can respond to her. And uh, you'd be surprised, guys. If you can do this for long, long enough, she'll feel like, wow. I know nothing about you, but you know everything about me. This is so weird. And by, by the time she says that to you, bro, you got it. <laughs> you win. Some of y'all niggas, because some of you guys are boring as hell. So some of you guys, we on a date, bro, real yeah. talk. Know yeah. your role. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, bro. People's trap ready so, to talk. Some of y'all just need to shut the hell up <laughs> and let her talk, bro, because some of you guys say some dumb shit when you're on a date. Yeah, bro. You know? So, so are we going to fuck after this? <laughs> <laughs> Like also, also guys. Yeah, some of you dumbasses guys. will take a honey pack before the date. <laughs> I'm really uh, uh, horny. Uh, 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 so we gonna we gonna fuck like uh, don't do what uh, like yeah bro like y'all niggas yeah. aren't Chris like don't don't do what Chris did the other episode. Man. Yeah, Chris can do that because he's in the studio. Yeah, like, you like, do on a real date, nigga. She'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with you, nigga? Like, You're a weirdo. Stop it. Leave me alone. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. In other scenario, Chris would have failed. But, <laughs> but, 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 to, but to, be, to be frank, though, <laughs> hey, it's Chris, you know? Then I get just drunk. We do it live. Um, <laughs> but... All jokes aside, guys. Yo, it's funny. Yo, then you make a comment from the side, and then yo, the girls are like DJ Academics. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> but you thirty. What? But you thirty. Yeah, they're gonna say yeah. They, they can mumble that shit. You're old, though. You're old. Yeah, you. you, you well, it's it's more like you still single. <laughs> like, what? We old. Wait, what? Yeah. But you are old, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no,